Hi guys. So shortly after I discovered the ice cream sandwich uh, custom ROM for the Samsung Infuse 4G, I uh, got sick of the, I guess, glitchiness for lack of a better term. The some there's a lot of things that were kind of iffy about it. They weren't working. But I looked around and I found a jelly bean ROM for uh, Samsung Infuse. And I think it works with a bunch of Samsung phones. Uh, you might want to double check. Don't take my word for it, but there, it should work with most Samsung devices. But uh, as you can see, I don't know. Well, you can't really tell because it looks like ice cream sandwich. But let me go. Oh, not that one. Let me go into the settings and show you that it is in fact running jelly bean. Um, there it is. There, ice cream Android 4.1.1. Oh, oop. I was trying to. Do it. Okay, there we go. There it is. It's a jelly bean. Yay! But yeah, it would, it's functioning quite well, better than the ice cream sandwich ROM, if uh, I could be so harsh to it. But uh, ice cream sandwich was, uh, I wasn't able to get picture me uh, MMS messages, which was kind of annoying, like pictures and stuff through text. Uh, I really didn't like that at all. That's, that's what really got me to switch. I was going to go back to the previous version of gingerbread, the stock version, but I decided to just get jelly beans, and it works on jelly bean. So, uh, the things that don't work with Jelly Bean on Samsung Infuse, uh, GPS, it, it freezes up from time to time. And, um, yeah, some of the ice cream sandwich features, such as the, the voice commands, they still don't work. See, I click the uh, microphone, and it doesn't work, which is kind of sad, but I don't even use this up. I don't care. Um, USB mounting doesn't work, so if I plug it in, it's not going to recognize it as a USB drive. It's, it's not a big deal. I, I use my Wi-Fi to transfer files anyway. And uh, debugging may not work. The debugging option, that, it says it may not work. I don't know. I don't really use it, so you guys could figure that one out for yourselves. But yeah, there you go. This is Jelly Bean on, uh, on the Samsung Infuse. It's quite smooth, actually. You know, the, the product, Project Butter is not incorporated into this version, this ROM. But nonetheless, it's working quite well, and um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. Said so uh, to install uh, this uh, Jelly Bean ROM, you're gonna have to follow the same steps that were in my previous video to upgrade to Ice Cream Sandwich. The only difference is, after you install the rooted Jelly Bean with the Cyanogen mod and the Clockwork uh, mod after you do that then you go back and instead of dragging and dropping the ice cream sandwich file uh, you're gonna be dragging and dropping the jelly bean file and I'll put the link in the description to download the jelly bean file and you're gonna follow the same exact steps besides the uh, ice, the ice cream sandwich file just uh, here this is what you should have so as you can see in the previous video you had this uh, file to download and in this one we're gonna go with the, this file do not extract it because you're gonna drag the zip file into the phone so yeah you're gonna need all you're gonna need these this is the rooted um, this right here is a rooted uh, gingerbread which you will need for the uh, both mods and you will need Odin to install uh, the rooted um, gingerbread so after you've done that uh, you get the jelly bean and you drag this into your phone. Um, yeah, just plug it in, drag it into the phone, not the SD card. Make sure you don't drag it into the SD card. So, let's, uh, let me show you how it's done. Remember, this is after you have installed the rooted gingerbread or the cyanogen mod for whatever version. As long as you have cyanogen mod mm. and, um, and, excuse me, um, and the uh, clockwork mod then you could follow these steps but yeah so part one of my last video does this so hold both volume up and down video uh, volume buttons volume, volume up and down at the same time hit the power button when you see the logo you will let go of volume up and down and it's gonna pop up with this and we should load into the bootloader there you go so over here I'm not gonna do these exact things but because uh, I don't want to delete my stuff but you go wipe data factory reset and you 
Click that, go down to yes. Then you go to wipe cache partition, do the same thing, go down to yes and click it. Go to advanced, wipe the Dalva cache, click that and go down to yes. Then you go back, install zip from SD card. Choose zip from SD card. And you're gonna scroll down and look for this here, down here, it should be stock JB jr003e.zip unless you change the name but that's the that's the name of the file you're gonna click that scroll down to yes install and it will do the install oh, I'm sorry let me show you that again so JB and then you go down here scroll install blah 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 and that will start installing and after you install you're gonna go here to reboot system now reboot the system and you will boot into uh, Jelly Bean and uh, here's a real time of how long it takes to, I mean the first time you load it up of course it's going to take a bit longer to bring it to the welcome screen and get you set up like that. But after it is done, it loads up pretty uh, decently. Here's the little Nexus X. Yeah, this um, the Bluetooth works on this one, unlike Ice Cream Sandwich, where it didn't work. The MMS uh, messaging works, and there was a bunch of uh, glitching glitches with the previous um, Ice Cream Sandwich ROM, which was kind of weird. But yeah, there you go. We're loaded in Charizard Beast Mode, and yeah, there you go. It works quite well, I must say. See, it's pretty smooth. Although it doesn't have Project Butter Incorporated, it's smooth like butter. <laughs> but yeah, uh, there you go. I hope you guys found this video useful. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, and yeah, enjoy Jelly Bean.